Hey guys, this is Hydra from Xtrades, and in this week I'm going to be going over um, what setups look the best for the coming weeks and um, yeah, overall market analysis and um, a lot of big cap and er, er, big cap tech stocks have reported earnings and uh, yeah, we're going to analyze the price action and see uh, what's to come next for the market. Um, so yeah, first off, we'll start off with uh, looking at the indices. So we'll take a look at QQQ first. So on the daily chart, very clear breakout, right? Uh, let me move this. So there's a bull flag forming and we are finally able to break that on Thursday. And on Friday, we closed very, very strong and we took out this key 321 um, resistance level. And for the first time, we are finally above this level and we're actually holding above it and close above it. So that is a very, very good sign for bulls. And bulls are definitely in control of the market and tech is definitely strong right now. So that's a big, big positive for um, the market in general. And the uh, next target is gonna be 330. So right now, yeah, the QQQ looks really, really good. Uh, big, te big cap uh, tech stocks have been carrying the market the last two days because of earnings so um, yeah really good action there take a look at the weekly chart on the weekly you can see the bull flag much more uh, clear and uh, yeah very obvious breakout this week and um, yeah like I said next target should be 330 but right now yeah everything looks good and bulls are in clear control now we'll take a look at the SPY so let's take a look at the weekly chart first so SPY um, it's also acting really well. It's also uh, took out the highs of the last couple weeks and it's making new highs. And uh, yeah, next target is the 418.5 level. And yeah, this one's also acting really well. Held its uptrend. It tested below, it was testing below. It got below earlier this week, but it closed very, very strong. And again, very good action from the market in general. Um, yeah, SPY is also acting really great. So let's take a look at the daily chart. It also took out its previous high um, there and it closed very strong on the day and uh, yeah really not much to say but very clear action that bulls are in control and the next target is going to be this uh, 48418.5 level and we'll see um, yeah what happens then but right now very clear that bulls are in control okay uh, now we'll take a look at some of the big cap tech stocks we'll start off with uh, Apple Apple has been acting extremely, extremely well. Um, it was uh, testing its uptrend on the Tuesday one or yeah, around Wednesday last week. But Thursday, Friday, we closed really, really strong and we reclaimed the trend line. And uh, yeah, we finally broke this 166 level. And uh, yeah, that, that was a pretty big level to level for Apple to break. And our next target should be around this uh, 174. 0.5 level but yeah apple looks really really good here and uh, clear skies ahead next target 174.5 apple does still have earnings coming just uh yeah letting you guys know and then next up amazon um amazon's also been holding up well definitely not as strong as apple right pulled back pretty hard on friday but still holding this uptrend so um yeah it's still not bad um, as long as uptrend is still intact, bulls are still in control. So, um, yeah, we should see a bounce off. And if that happens, then next target should be 112. But if we do break this level, or if we break the uh, trend line, then we could come back to 101. So, yeah, that's what I see for Amazon. Next up, we'll take a look at Meta. Uh, Meta had a really big gap up on earnings, really nice action. And on Friday, it closed pretty strong, and now it's forming a little two-day flag, right? Uh, ideally, you want to see more consolidation and wait for, um, you know, just wait, for, just wait for um, the moving averages to catch up. But right now, um, Meta looks really, really good. If it takes out this 241 level, then there's a good chance that it can go higher. Let's take a look at the weekly chart to find the next resistance level. yeah it really has no resistance until this 256 level and then after that 
286. But yeah, really, really nice move off the lows for Meta. It's been acting really well this entire year, or since last November, really. But yeah, big cap tech stocks have been rebounding really well. Uh, let's take a look at Apple. Yeah, Apple's already almost, it's pretty close to, or not that close, but yeah, it's not too far away from all time highs. Amazon still has a lot of work to do. Yeah, it's one of the weaker ones. But yeah, Apple is very strong. Meta is very strong. Take a look at Microsoft next. Microsoft is also pretty strong. Really nice weekly breakout for Microsoft. Really nice volume on the weekly too. Again, this one had really nice earnings and it just ripped after that, right? Next target should be 315, but yeah, Amazon really, really nice breakout on the weekly and it looks really good here. Um, yeah, clear skies ahead. Next up, we'll take a look at NVIDIA. So NVIDIA has also been acting really well. It's been consolidating for one, one, two, three, four, five, six weeks now. And it looks ready to take out this 280 level. And this is going to be like a top, or an A plus setup when it breaks, right? This is a very clear um, setup. This is an A plus setup. It's been building a really nice flag for the last couple weeks. And it looks ready to go any day now. So yeah. This is a top watch one. Um, next up, we'll take a look at uh, Google. So Google is also struggling a little bit, but it's actually been setting up really, really nicely. So there's a very nice flag forming here on the weekly chart. And it looks ready to maybe another week of consolidation. But once this 109 level gets taken out, this one can absolutely rip. Uh, next target being 120. Then after that, it's just... Yeah, after that, it's just really 145 and then I'll back to all-time highs. So, yeah, this one looks really good, too. Has a lot of potential. So, Google and NVIDIA look the best for next week in terms of uh, their actual setup. But other big cap tech names have been uh, holding up stronger as well. So, yeah, take a look at Tesla. So, Tesla hasn't been acting the greatest definitely not compared to the other pickup tech names but uh te tesla did have a nice breakout it was forming a downtrend here and it took that out on friday so that's good action so next level would next the uh, resistance level is 167 if that gets taken out then we can see a move back to 186.5 but yeah overall good action for now but tesla is still definitely not the strongest names uh, compared to the other big cap tech names um but yeah that's pretty much a good overview the big caps netflix is another one netflix isn't doing too much here uh it does have a downtrend here that it broke recently but this one's been more in chop than anything um yeah not really no clear trade here so yeah i would stick to the other names that i mentioned earlier um now we can take a look at some individual names that have been setting up pretty well actually before that we'll take a look at rkk growth names so again, this one's just been an absolute chop, right? Absolutely nothing going on here. And until we break either this 40.8 level or this 34.4 level, uh, there's no edge for either bulls or bears. So yeah, I would just avoid uh, playing growth stocks for now. And it's better to touch, it's better to play these uh, big cap tech names because they're the ones that have actually been moving and making moves. Um, <clears throat> We'll also take a look at TMG. This is another name that's been making all-time highs. So this is yeah, really, really good action. Uh, had a really nice uh, earnings beat on Wednesday and uh, formed a nice flag. And it took that out on Friday. And yeah, this one's just powering higher. So this one's really, really good. Um, yeah. Really not much else to say. This one's hitting all-time highs while the market's still consolidating. So, um, or not consolidating. It's been acting better. But, yeah, this one's already back at all-time highs. So, this is definitely a stock that you want to be paying attention to. Um, next up, we'll take a look at um, Duolingo. Duolingo has also been acting well. Didn't have the greatest week. Had a red week. But it is still forming a very nice bull flag here. And that's something that you want to be paying attention to. And this one had really nice vo volume on earnings had a really nice move up now it's forming a very clean pull flag and it looks ready to take um 
out resi this resistance level or when it does take out this resistance level it's a very clear buy so definitely keeping this one on watch uh, we'll take a look at elf this one's also been acting really really well um yeah this one had so many green days in a row and it's finally pulling back now so um yeah let's see if it forms some sort of setup more consolidation would be better but um yeah we'll see how this one does this one has been acting extremely strong so any any chance to buy this on a pullback so if this comes back to this lower trend line here it could be a good buy for sure this one's yeah extremely extremely strong so definitely one to keep an eye on <clears throat> next up o n o n this one's also been acting well uh, let me remove these lines yeah this one's again acting really really well had a really nice uh <clears throat> made a really nice move from earnings and then now it's uh it was consolidating and then it finally broke out last week and now it's consolidating again bu uh, building a little bull flag here so if this uh, trend line gets taken out then it's a very clear buy signal um let's take a look at the weekly chart yeah this looks really good it already cleared major resistance level here now it's just uh yeah getting ready for another leg up this one looks really good and last but not least, uh, we'll take a look at Shockwave. This one's been acting really well on the daily. Really, really nice uh, tight bull flag forming. So yeah, we'll see if this one can take out this bull flag and make another leg up higher. Really nice volume on this day. And yeah, this one overall looks uh, pretty good. And uh, yeah, if we can take out this bull flag, there's a good chance that we can revisit um, all-time highs again so major resistance here if that gets taken out then yeah we're back on track to <clears throat> all-time highs but um yeah that's pretty much what i got for you guys for this week um yeah thank you guys for tuning in appreciate it